green light and we're underway. It wasn't a great start by Lowe. Chris Dobson had to dip the clutch as well on the outside. Francois de Val moves to the inside, almost hits the wall. Markland from the back row, all the way around the outside. That's a brilliant start by Markland. Markland up the second. And now Solberg's being hassled by Lowe in the background. But Matthias extra man in front, so extra Markland up to second. Turn one favours the brave. Markland's going with extra, isn't he? Went in a little bit hot, there's Ramon. Oh, Markland up, off, Markland is off. So Markland has a spin and he's held up Solberg in the background there. So Solberg's been held up. That's a disaster, Branton. What a shame. For two a lap, so I would think Actions guys might run him towards the end. But um, if I was in the car, I was in the lead. I'd want to get the joker out of the way so you know it's done. Yeah, the nerves, the nerves, because we saw the man in second place, the, the World Rally Championship legend, Sebastian Loeb, yesterday on for the overnight TQ and made a mistake. Anyone can make a mistake. Very, very impressive. Into the joker lap, and this is very, very impressive as well. He won last week in Hockenheim, Matthias Ekstrom has had three TQs and now he's had two wins, it's Ekstrom that wins in Belgium, second is Sebastian Loeb and third place goes to Petter Solberg, the two WRC legends, Ekstrom pitches the car on board into a donut, fantastic job by him. Here are the Drivers' Championship standings after round three, Matthias Ekstrom takes the lead in the championship, knocking Petter Solberg off the top spot for the first time in a year. Here are the team standings after round three, EKS staying where they are along with VWR RX Sweden. I think RX Sweden will have maybe closed the gap a tiny bit here thanks to Haken and not having a great weekend.